the next example uh, that I would like to take up uh, is the case of a fill icon. Again, we have used a single circle and let me go to uh, manage rules. And uh, again, we are using a classification type of conditional formatting. And for certain items here, right? For especially when you come to ratings, uh, you can specify the number of ranges that you want to use, right? And since uh, we are only using a single circle and we want to use the fill, we have limited it to one. But technically, let me, uh, I, I don't think I need to expand the column, it expands automatically. I can even use uh, a range with 10 circles. And uh, pretty much, you know, it's going to generate that for you automatically. So let me change it uh, back to one. The only difference is in this example, we have decided to enable uh, showing it in a separate column, right? So this rating is based on margin, but we have gone for this option that we want to show this as a separate column. And we have used a rating of uh, five ranges, right? And again, this by default, uh, InfoRiver decides how to allocate uh, values to different buckets. But if you want to customize this, right? And again, a range of five items means you potentially have about uh, nine or 11 values because even a half star is a rating scale. So when you try to customize it, you're gonna get uh, nine or 11 buckets and you can go and play around with, this, with these buckets and change them depending, but I'm not gonna make any of those changes right now. But again, these customization possible. Mm -hmm.